Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In, th in this video I'm finally going to completely overhaul my balcony. As you can see, I've had it as a real mess since since the beginning of winter really. And the plants are going quite well, but as you can see it's just loads of dirt, loads of compost. I haven't really looked after it because the wind in that over winter has been blowing stuff around, dislodging stuff. So now is the time that the weather's getting nicer to give it a real good clean. So I'm going to take everything off the balcony. Unfortunately, as I live in the flat, I have to take it straight into the flat, which is a bit tricky. Um, so I'm going to put everything on, on special mats and stuff so it doesn't damage my carpet. And I'll come back to you when this is completely, completely redone and hopefully I'll have a lot more space for growing things. Hopefully also some space for sitting out on the balcony on, on nice days such as today. You can see a rare day with blue sky here in Scotland. So that's the plan for this morning. So that's the balcony completely cleared. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt, a lot of old compost. I'm going to give it a good sweep, clear that up. It's actually bigger than I remember it, but I suppose I've had so much stuff on it, it's hard to see how big my balcony is. My living room now, you can see see from there how big, how much stuff I actually have in the balcony. It's ridiculous, so much stuff. The main problems, to be honest, are the Christmas tree. I mean, I don't really want it on the balcony, but I don't want to throw it out either because it's a nice Christmas tree. I use it every year. And then the set of chairs take up a lot of space as well, which is a shame. So that's the main thing to keep up the space, but I need to rearrange it all and figure out where to put things. Also a few bugs on the windows. On the balcony here, you can see there's a pretty big spider there. Quite a big one. There's actually a bigger one somewhere I saw earlier, but um, I'll sweep them all up and throw them, in, throw them away. But that's the balcony for now, and I'll, I'll just now start sweeping and then putting more things out. This is the balcony fully swept and cleaned. Um, I would I would have liked to have bleached it with a mop, but my mop I have at the moment is too good really to be using on a balcony because I use it in my flat. So I've just swept it for now. I think it's clean enough to be honest. Um, I'll just keep on top of it a bit more in the summer. Keep sweeping it. Once it completely cleared, what I'll do next is try and figure out the best position to get all my plants on with the most amount of light getting to each plant, but also still have space to hopefully sit out there and enjoy the balcony. So as I said before, Got all this to fit out. I've got a few stands to put some of the plants on. And the end of my balcony has got a glass, so it's quite bright there. So I can put things right on the edge of that wall there, on, the, on that bit of glass that I've done here, without worrying about things being shaded. So last time I had my Christmas tree in the corner over here. I had a little stand over here with a couple of plants and my snake on top. And that was pretty much it. I also had some plants in the bottom here. You can see the bottom gets quite a lot of sun. At midday, it's um, well, as you can see, it's pretty much midday now, 12 o'clock. See the sun, there's a lot of sun on the bottom, and uh, no sun on the left though, because that's a north facing wall. So that's that's the how it is. As I said it's very narrow at this point, but it gets wider as it goes up. As you can see, it's actually, actually quite a decent size. And I look back, you can see there it gets a lot narrower. So I need to figure out the best combination. I'm leaving the stuff in the windowsill pretty much as it is. I might rearrange that a little bit so I can open my window a little bit easier. But I have got another window I can open. And I'm leaving these two planted as they are because they're looking quite nice at the moment. And I'll be replanting them up soon anyway. So that's the trickiest point now. It's just figuring how to rearrange everything in the best way to make the most of the space. Okay, so that's all rearranged now. And I've given myself lots more space. Look at that, you can see lots more space here. So what I'm hoping to do is that I can now use my balcony for sitting out on so I've got all my four chairs stacked here the chairs also double up as somewhere to put my plants which is good so when I want my chairs all I have to do is take off the plants then the top chair will be dirty because it's had plants on it but the other one should be clean and I can just have I can have you know I can have two or three chairs here if I wanted I could even have all four of them out but I would have to clean the top one but there's enough space for four chairs if I wanted four chairs even with those four chairs if you were sitting here, your feet would only come to about here, so you see you've still got a bit more space. You can have a small table if you want, have tea and coffee, which would be nice. Um, but the main thing is, my balcony is always actually for my plants, not so much for sitting out on, although my, my girlfriend prefers it for sitting out. So what I've done is I've freed up this space on the windowsill, I've just had a couple of low low things here so the window can still open. It'll be nice in the summer to open the windows. Um, so what, what I've done, is this has been moved from here over here what that does is it frees up this space I'll put a, a trough down here for now just because it's out of the way 
you know, we're never going to stand right up to the edge of the of the balcony, so that's wasted space. I thought I'd put that there. That's going to be planted up soon with spring bedding, not spring bedding, sorry, summer bedding, and that will replace my current spring planter, which is just going over. You can see the tulips are just just finishing. This one's almost gone, but the other ones are still looking pretty good, so I'll give them a bit longer. Then two things down here are my thermometers for my to tell me what temperature the flat's at. Oh, the balcony's out, sorry. And then over here, this is, where the, this is the, really the plant end of the balcony, so you can see if I go back a bit. This is like the, the sitting out, enjoying the balcony area for people, and then this is the, the plant end at the back. So, I've got this nice bamboo stand, which I can have my Sinetti. I've also got a few tools on it and equipment, and I can put more plants on it if I want, because it does get a bit of light. At the end here, because of the glass, I can put plants right up to the edge of the balcony and still get light, which is good. So I've got my Christmas tree in the corner here, with compost underneath it to save to make most of the space. So my battery just went flat, but I've got a new one, as I was saying. Uh, making the most of the space underneath the chairs, I've got some equipment and down there, and some more compost. Um, on top of the chairs, I've got my my hyacinths, and I've got my um, that's going up my head. But I've got this lovely little daisies here, um, osteospernums, that's the name for them. Um, so they get to, get to get plenty of sun, it's, as I say, it's just after midday, it's about half twelve, so get the full midday sun. Got my sunflowers here, which will also get in the full day sun. It is filtered through the frosted glass, but it's still still quite bright. I need to state them because they're starting to get a bit, a bit, a bit leggy, really. Some of them have fallen over, and I've also got a lot of aphids on them now, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Down here, where it's a bit shadier, but it's still quite light. Got my mint plant, I've got my pratia down there as well. You can see this one. Um, I've put my fuchsia here because it needs something to hold out because it's so top heavy. So it's going to be held to, by the two two tops at the bottom and the and the two walls. Um, but I'm not sure what to do with that. It's getting a bit out of hand. I might have to just restart with the the whole training thing because it's getting a bit too big now. And over here I've got some carrots just for the nice flowers. They don't need too much light now because they're They've done most of the growing and they've got a lot of energy in the carrot still, so they're about to come into flower. And they're just about tall enough now that they will be in the sun anyway. And over here is my Sinetti, which is pretty much in full bloom and looking nice. I'll give you guys an update on that soon because it's looking really nice at the moment. And here's that new bonsai of mine, which is the, the birch, which I need to let grow a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to put it in a bonsai pot and start training it into a nice bonsai. So that's my balcony in lovely spring morning. It's uh, finally blue skies here in Scotland, which is nice. It's quite a rarity. You can see over there we got some nice uh, flowering cherries coming through. I think I might do a, a, a little walk tomorrow, get some nice pictures of the flowering cherries around Edinburgh. We've got quite a lot and they look really nice. All, all Japanese cherries, but um, they were planted in the 1950s and they're now big mature trees, so they're looking nice. So that's my balcony. As I said, I've got my time here. Um, let's get to see some out of sun. My Venus flytop as well. I may move that to a sunnier position. I'm not sure. I'll just leave it there for now. It's also getting a bit of aphid problems, so I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that. So that's the balcony. Hopefully, it'll do well, and I'll keep you guys updated as I, as I change things. I've also got a bit more space now. I could even put more plants on here if I want. I've got some of these shelves free down here. Possibly putting up some plants. And I could even put some plants on the floor here because I'm not going to use this area. Um, because as I said, I'm going to sit in this, sit in the area past here. So this wall, this little bit of wall here, is kind of the de demarcation line between the plant area and the sitting area. I've decided I've t I took over the, uh, the balcony too much before, and I need to give a bit more space to enjoying and sitting out in the balcony instead of just picking it up for plants and nothing else but plants. So I've actually amazingly managed to get more space for plants and more space for people with a big tidy up. So that's worked great. It's got the most. I was worried I might have to sacrifice some of the plants to get more space for sitting out, but I've managed to rearrange it in such a way that I've got the best for the plants and best for, the, for, for sitting out as well. So that's my balcony. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as I said, I'll give you guys an update as I continue to progress.